different uh, national agencies um, banner, uh, civil society organizations, the private and the business sector. So, send them a join kang parade of flags. This is a kick-off ceremony to the 125th anniversary of the cry of Santa Barbara on November 17, 2023. So, 125 days they are going to start. Kita ka countdown ta on Saturday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Ma'am, asan ko ma'am, ang uh, ato niya parade of flags ini, pirakabilog ang magasunod sa kada kumpanya? Or... Uh, only the flag bearers. Ah, okay. Flag bearers lang. Anay, tulad. <laughs> <laughs> so, buot ang, bat ang ato niya uh, parade of flags, that means isa, langgit kabilog. Isa na or duha, sanda kayo. Okay. Pwede sanda mag, uh, salita magbulas-bulas mm -hmm. pala. It's, it's quite a long way no, around the population. Okay. So... May atin kong duhas ang dama kapag ang andang uh, uh, bamboo poles with their uh, agency banners. Asan ko ma'am, ano kahanggod ang andang uh, flag ng bitbitan? Ang um, measurement nila? Ang may ginasuggest kami ng uh, ideal size that is 3 by 6 feet no with uh, their company logo or company uh, names at the center um, that will be tied on a nine or, na, or ten feet na bamboo pole. Uh, so, amo ka di ang suggested naman nga size kang uh, agency banners. Okay. Diri sa aton, ma'am, uh, hambal mo ka ginawin mga national agency nga mag sa aton. Uh, ara bala, hindi lang diri sa may Santa Barbara, kundi province-wide? Uh, yes. In, even the regional offices. Kay, uh -huh. When okay. you write uh, sa province, no, office, no, they would refer you to the regional offices. Mm -hmm. so they would get the, the, the final say or the approval from the regional offices. Um, except those nga sa Manila, agad kami mm -hmm. nag-send, like the Department of Foreign Affairs, because they're also um, celebrating their 125th year anniversary this 2023. Mm -hmm. Along with them um, are the DPWH, the Department of Trade and Industry, and the Department of Education. So, kadaan mo gulis ang aton mga national agencies nga mga join sa aton? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Ah, Ma'am, mga ukot ng kubala, um, pila ang aton yung mga national agencies nga mga join sa aton ng Saturday? Um, we have sent out uh, more than 20 invitations. Mm -hmm. no? hey, this is just to, uh, to test the waters no? kung mm -hmm. ano ang reaction kang community mm -hmm. about this event. And because we are uh, thinking of a bigger picture uh, during the 125th anniversary mm -hmm. kang Cry of Santa Barbara. Okay. So, uh, this is the first time, no? Yung mga parade of flags kita? Uh, kay ko kaysa, di ba? Um, uh, civic parade, mm -hmm. no? Uh -oh. So, this time, it will be parade of flags. Lamay may nagpamangkot ganun yung mga agencies kung ang mga personnel na damas sunod pa. Uh, not this time. Siguro next time, no? <laughs> Pero siguro sa aton nga, ano kayo, na cry of Santa Barbara, <laughs> base pa lang. Oo, oh, base, base. Oh, oh. Okay man, syempre, ang aton yung mga pinanagaw mga empleyado sa mga national agencies naton, local agencies naton, luyagid nila, by the way, mag-upod man sa parada. Even the the business sector, gusto ginanda. So, anong preparasyon naton, ma'am, sa sininga uh, event naton on Saturday? Um, so we will have the um, short program no, sa countdown ta and then we'll start the parade around the poblacion and then it will be followed by a mini concert lang, gamay lang get, kay we have bands with us so if they can play um, uh, music to entertain us for about an hour then that will be good for all everybody. Kag may ano pa gid, may unity dance gali. That's what I want to invite the public. Kung sino gustong umindak, <laughs> kung sino gusto mag uh, saot, we will have a practice on Thursday at 4:30 in the afternoon yala sa tubang ka municipio. For those who will be joining the unity dance to the tune of Bagani. Ang Bagani is the theme song 
uh, during the celebration of the 500 years of victory in Mactan that was uh, three three years ago uh, it was so unlucky lang uh, ng pandemic so ang mga events for that celebration mas oh I got why masyado ma-highlight gid Oh, sa mga pinalangga na nila, especially sa mga Santa Barbara noon, so inviting para sa Unity Dance. So ma'am, tanan-tanan bala pwede makapasakop sa Unity Dance? Yes, oo. Oh, oh. Okay, we will have one ano, one movement no, for everybody and there there will be um, dance masters na ifollow lang nanda ang movements. Mm. So everybody is invited. Okay, sige. Um, mayara kita sa Minika. Ang mini concert natin ng Balmo is actually only one hour, right? Oo, oh, very short lang. Okay, sino ang mga gatukar nga banda mo? Uh, we are requesting the military bands, pero daw oh. medyo may conflict of schedule sila. So, we will find out kung kung if they will can grant us, mm -hmm. no? Even a few minutes lang. Mm -hmm. So, ang aton nga parade of flags within poblacion area lang? Yes, within poblacion lang. Okay, sige. So, um, actually daw, ano man ni ma'am, daw in connection man, sa ato nga Department of Tourism. So thank you very much kasi sa imong dugang nga impormasyon tuwi sa ato nga Parade of Flags on uh, July 15 at 4 p.m. Um, question lang ma'am, may ara kita subong nga, ano kayo na, nga tourism campaign sa ato nga Department of Tourism about to love the Philippines which is nga duro ang negative reaction kay man sa ginpagwa nila nga audio-visual presentation sa DDB Philippines nga agency may ara nakalakip nga iban nga mga footages, stock footages, kag videos from different countries. So, ka, unta nga re reaction nung as tourism officer sa Santa Barbara. <laughs> Anong mga ba ng party din? Um, actually, it's it's a call for every uh, department secretary, no? the Department of Tourism na whoever is uh, gets an appointment. no. Gusto na na siguro, maiba naman ang andang uh, tourism tagline, uh, tourism promotional video. So, hindi like, start kita sa Wow Philippines and then they came up with It's More Fun in the Philippines. So, this time, kay Secretary Frasco, um, nag-contract sila kang isa ka advertising agency to handle the promotional uh, video. no. So, it uh, ang tag nila is uh, Love the Philippines. Um, Medyo may ano lang, may mga negative reactions lang from the pro promotional video. Kay nag-feature sanda kang mga sites uh, that are not from the Philippines. No? So, uh, so, may Indonesia, may Malaysia, and I think may European country pa. Which uh, turned out to be negative sa mga viewers kang promotional video. So, um, for my own reaction, whatever is, uh, you know, whatever would be, would look inviting for the tourists to visit the Philippines, okay na ka naman na. Because we, uh, you know, our opinion was not also asked by the Department of Tourism, so, hindi <laughs> kami ka-react that much. Ang ambal ni Senador Nancy Binay, um, Ma'am Ay, ang ambal niya, siya, by the way, chairman, sang uh, so, committee on tourism so ang hambal niya inambala niya ang uh, DOT nga ung tato na lang ang love to philippines so pangita na lang sila sa iban nga tagline <laughs> or iban nga tourism campaign for the philippines or ibalik ang it's more fun in the philippines parang hindi na kita kuno maggastos sang dako kay man hambal nila uh, 49 million ang gastuhon sa sini nga bag-o nga tourism campaign um so far, why pagid mga kami directive from the regional offices to promote the video, to play the video, why pagid ganit kami kopya, why pagid no, uh, no communication was ever sent to us, uh, local government units. So, uh, let's wait na lang. Let's wait kung ano ang mayad nga himuon ang dakang taga Department of Tourism. Pero ako na ko, ako na ako ang tag tagline nga Love the Philippines. Uh, mas gusto ko rin because we we Filipinos kung kaysa nagkakalipat gitman loving our country thank you ma'am ay so mangkot ka lang ma'am ay kumusta naman ang aton yung mga bisita sa aton nga uh, dili sa may Santa Barbara kumusta ang listahan <coughs> sa aton nga mga visitors sa inyong uh, tourism to uh, ah yeah ang um, Department of Tourism is very particular on tourist arrivals no so every month and every quarter 
um, we are required to submit sa regional office of our tourist arrivals that um, would include uh, overnight accommodations, uh, day tours, or day visitors. No, so is um gina monitor gin naman dia so far um for the first half of the year siguro daw nami naman ang ano daw nag increase git man because uh, hambal gani nanda ko no eh, travel is back with revenge <laughs> so my data kita ma'am kun pila ang ato nga bisita from january january to may ta we're almost at uh, 50,000 wow kadamo usin ang uh, record sa aton nga mga pinalangga. Okay, last year, ang aton nga tourist arrivals was about around 91,000. Oh, the whole year of 2022. Uh, so, that so, was the, oh yeah, the whole year of 2022. Mm, so, so, It, it's a, already a good number, ha? Mm -hmm. Kay may mga municipality sa, I'm sorry to to really vet this out, nga, nagdaog sanda sa mga awards in cultural show, a presentation, said, ano, pero why sanda tourist arrival? So, paano nanda ma-justify diya? Okay, so nang, <laughs> nagdaog sanda, pero why sanda yung tourist? Why tinagal uh, Because uh, one of the, ano, one of the requirement is tourist arrivals. So, may awarded ang festival mo, pero why? Kati corresponding tourist arrivals, paano mag-justify di ang uh, you deserve the award? Okay. Sino na katao ka-award mo? Um, actually, um, uh, the Association of Tourism Officers of the Philippines and the Department of Tourism. Mm -hmm. So, may mga nominees man sanda? Oh, yeah. Every year, um, we are asked to submit our... Uh, Uh, application for a particular award. Ah, munta ba lang nag, nag, ano, nag Hall of Famer na ng Santa Barbara mm -hmm. for fest, um, best tourism events. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Di, di pa kita ka-join? Pwede pa, pero let's concentrate more on the development of tourism in the mm -hmm. community, in the municipality. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, may harap ba na subong mga mga, mga aktividades ang aton nga Department of Tourism? Aside from aton nga 125 Days Countdown. Um, uh, I know there are a lot because most of the mice, uh, that's meetings, incentives, conferences, and exhibitions are being held in the city of Iloilo. Um, mas nami pagidaad if this mice bala can be um brought to the municipality para bang promote man ang mga kabanuhanan sa Iloilo. Anyway, may may facilities man sa iban nga mga banwa to host meetings and uh, conferences. Okay, so thank you very much, Kid Ma'am Ayin, sa iyong mga tiyempo, tiyon na ginatag subong. Mayara ka pa idugang, Ma'am, para sa pag-ibitar, Ma'am, sa aton nga mga manog-bisita uh -oh. sa may Santa Barbara. Oh yes, Santa Barbara is always tourist-ready. <laughs> uh, and let's make uh, Santa Barbara as, uh, you know, uh, active in tourism. Uh -oh. So thank you very much, Gid. Mama. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity mm -hmm. and thank you for having me here. Mm -hmm. Mama, live kita worldwide. Basi may ruya katam niya won sa iba niya pong sod. Well, I'll shout, <laughs> shout out to mga friends, relatives, <laughs> and of course my daughters. Ang bala na nara ko. Karoon nga, why gina ko na nga. Why gina ko na mention ni Mama. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mama Ayan. Okay. Okay, thank you, Gid. Sa tiyon. Dapat yan ang atong pinalangga nga tourism officer or tourism operations officer too sa munisiparidad sa Santa Barbara. So salamat kay Ma'am Ayan nga siya gid nga nagapanguna sa atong yung turismo diri sa may Santa Barbara nga hambal niya gani. O 50,000 na record naton until from January to May. So bunga to eh. subad so, an aton nga magadugang pagid ang aton yung mga bisita basi bala mag uh, More than 100,000 na bilang mamhaw. Thank you very much, Kim Ma'am Ayen. So, doon ko yung magpaalam ko, Ma'am Ayen. So, sa ito mga pinanangga, kamusagyapan nagpamatik sa Radio Pisina. Upon sa ako, doon yung Zoyla Cordero.